Hello everyone, my name is Chris Judd and I'm the IT manager at Simon Langton Girls Grammar School. Today I'm going to give you a very quick overview of Microsoft Teams, which is one of the main programs the school is now using to set homework for your daughter. So to access Microsoft Teams, we can go onto the school's website and up in the top right we've got quick links and there's one for Office 365. To log into Office 365, your daughter will just need her school email address and the school password. Just a quick reminder that as part of the school's Office 365 package, it allows everybody to install Office, which is Word, PowerPoint, Excel, onto up to five devices. So that could be on phones, tablets, or computers, uh, and it also includes Macs as well and iPads. And you can do that by clicking Install Office. Uh, and if you're on the app, you can just search for any of the app stores. And then again, just using the school email address and password to authenticate, and that will count as one of your licenses. For this, we're not going to install anything. I'm going to show you using the web version, which is completely sufficient for any of the homework that you're set. So to access Teams, on the left-hand side, we've got all the programs, and we're looking for the one with T on it for Teams. So this account has only got one team assigned to it, but your daughter is likely to have a lot more in here. You can see that I've got a number one on here, and up on the top left, under Activity, and then an at sign on the Teams. This is just saying there's been a notification or an update within this team. So if I go into this one, I can see the notification is that the last one that's been done was a parent demo test. So I'm going to view this assignment. And this is effectively the homework that's been set. So this will be the title for the homework. And we can see this one is due in tomorrow. And the instructions just say, please read the attached PDF and answer the questions by uploading a Word document. So this is the file that I've uploaded um, as a teacher. So this will be one that would be the resources for the homework. And then for me as a student, I would then click Add Work. And I could either upload a Word document or whatever I've done my homework on, or I can just click on a new file, click on a blank Word document. I can call this um, Answer Sheet, attach it. I can see that's now here. And then if I click into this, I can now start typing my answers for the homework. I just type in test here. So this will automatically save because it's a 365 document. I can now click close. That will be that, that test that I've just typed in is automatically in this Word document. And I can now click hand in. And that's the homework completed. Another area that's worth noting is the files tab up the top here. So teachers may choose to put resources and class materials into this area and they don't necessarily have to put them into the assignments. So where there's no homework set and it is just information for the subject, a teacher is more likely to put it within the files tab. And these are a couple of folders that I created um, for this test demo. So you may find that the teachers have got different resources and they put them into these folders instead of the assignments one under the resources section here. I hope you found this short video about Microsoft Teams useful. And we do encourage you and your daughters to take a look at the full range of Microsoft 365 apps that are available and make the most out of the licenses that they've got. Thank you very much for watching.